soon the next episode of Boomer Shooter Madness. Now, in the last episode, we left off just finishing up with right before the boss of the Arctic level. Well, actually, no. We have to do the laboratory, then it's the boss. There's apparently four stages in this one. We've been breezing past the Arctic level. I don't know why. It might be because I've got a hold of the controls and stuff now, or it, it just seems easier. I do miss the sucky butt stuff. Let's see, is there a secret here anywhere? No? Can't open that. I could probably open that door. There's a meanie on this side. Use my pistol to take care of them pretty well. I don't have any mana. Still from the last time I used it. Oh, that's spooky. The pistol works pretty well on these little dudes. Well, they're not little at all, but... Oh, that's a lot of bitches out there. I don't like that that much. Found another secret just by touching the walls randomly. Which opens up into all of that. So I'm just gonna be an asshole and throw dynamite. Because I literally don't use dynamite for anything else. Nope. We're gonna... <laughs> stun lock him like this. Oh shit. What the fuck? Where'd you guys come from? I'm not a, uh... I'm not a fan of how this game seems to just spawn enemies behind you for the sake of spawning them behind you. It would be better if they actually came from a discernible area, but they just appear out of thin air. Or maybe I'm just big dum dum, tiny brain, and I don't see that they actually do come from somewhere. Oh, I didn't even pick up the red key. That would have been bad. Walking around like a dunce. Is this poop? No. It's like little things of black pudding. Switch back to the pistol. Another secret just because I've been mashing spacebar on all the walls I walk past. Another life. Oh, see, that's good. The wall actually came up, and they came from somewhere, rather than just existence for the sake of it. Now I gotta find the actual door, and it's this one. What up? They're gooping these? I guess it's just a, a chance for goop to be inside them. Oh, well, next level. That went by pretty quick. I do like the uh, way you're able to customize and change your weapons. Oh, I hit the fence and uncovered a secret. Skip a big ass chunk of this level probably. What do I have to deal with in here? Oh, what the fuck? It is the thing. That's gross. There's something else out there. Yeah. Give me that point. I'm not gonna go around breaking all the boxes for the sake of doing it. Can't go in there. What is that? That's something new. Is that a flamethrower? Yeah, it would fit with the whole setting. Going all John Carpenter on these dudes. Is there any secret back here, or just... No. I don't like that little pile of... snow there. I feel as if something will happen. 
This just leads me oh, in here. I, I wonder if I can burn myself by using this. Yes, I can. So have to be careful with that. Don't exactly know how great of a weapon it will be. Oh, it instantly... If it touches them, it's just poof. I feel like there's something else here. They're either going to spawn something behind me or there's some other way in. Probably on this wall. No. Just some little secret stuff. It Boxes are immortal to it. I still do not have the blue key. Uh-oh. We're going to have to find that. Is there a button here? Yeah, there is. Okay, that opens that door. There's something in the hallway. I can hear it breathing. Please don't open up all this goop on me. I'm just gonna chuck some denim in here. And then, if there's any goop, I will burn it. It gets bigger when you burn it. Haha! <laughs> Let's see how well the flamethrower works on these Wendigo dudes. It actually is a pretty good weapon. You just run the risk of burning yourself with it. Now I forget where I have to, I don't know where I have to go, actually. Oh. That was a secret. Now I am lost. Okay. In here? Yeah, blue door. Yo, know, little blood boop. Yeah, the flamethrower is actually pretty cool. It melts dudes really quick. Now let's see. This little Pokemon music. Oh, naturally. It doesn't do shit to the flamethrower, guys. Come on. There's a wall had a little chip in it, so I mashed the button, and what do you know? It's actually a secret. Hello? There's a teleportage. But I'm not done exploring just. You know what? Screw it. Give me the flamethrower, let's go in. Ah, living eyeballs. Really? Already at the end of the level? No. I actually can't go back now, because I don't have the door, and I want to do the level. So. Well, it'll now be... Somewhat cheating because I know what is coming up. Grab this secret just for the sake of grabbing it, and then we'll go through the level as they intended. Basically, just show up on the other side of these doors. Secret? No, there's some little floaty eyeball dudes in there. I think the goop gets bigger if you burn it, like for just a split second. See, now I have the blue key, which we'll use to get in here. It really just spawn shit in. No! I thought that thing was gonna instant explode it and take me down with it. I haven't used the SMGs in a while. Oh, that's not a secret. Um, I wonder where that teleporter takes us. Let's see what that opens. Secret on this wall. Any of these walls? These things are... 
pretty wildly inaccurate. You just gotta open fire. Any secrets? Say the pistol. Feels a lot more responsive. Hold on. Then we'll chuck a dynamite down there at his handsome ass. <laughs> Instant. Now we're back here in this room. Give me the boomstick. I haven't used it in a while. These things. I, I think they shove their tentacles in the ground. And that's how they hit me from so far away. I assume so. Yet another teleporter. Where does this go? Takes us back to the start. Well, one double barrel does not put them down. That's spoopy. And so now we're in here. Which is basically just in this room. See the exits in here. There's another teleporter this way though. That was in the wall when I blew it up. Let's see where this goes. Just a room full of stuff. And then right back out. Oh, okay. I think I'm lost now. I don't know. Now I know where I'm at. <coughs> I mean, we'll go. That's it? I missed a secret somewhere. Hello, sir. See, as long as you know you're there, or they're there, you'll blast them pretty easily, but this guy, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that kills them really quick. It kills lots of stuff really fast. Pretty sure if you found all the secrets, you'd be able to skip a big chunk of this level. Or all the levels, anyway. You just gotta tap it, like, once. They give you a lot of ammo for this thing. Just burn everything. Let me just spawn this right here and keep going. See, the fire can't, like, melt the boxes or anything. There's a bunch of dudes in there waiting for me. Grab my unlock points. I don't have a key yet. There's definitely a secret somewhere on these walls and stuff. It wants me to go through the teleporter. I'd assume so, because I can't get into any of the other ones, so. Oh. It just is like a chain reaction going through them all. Don't have the yellow key, so we'll be going... That looks like something. Knew it. Now I have the blue key, which I can take here. Who knows what that just opened up. Really? fire. The flamethrower dudes really mess up the- because everything else is really weak to absolutely everything the flamethrower is. That's not the room I was in earlier. Except the uh, flamethrower guys, they're completely immune to it. Well, you just gave me a red key, so. You gonna let me in? No? Okay. Where'd I come from? Let's go this way. And now we're in this room. Hmm. 
No. Alright, he's dead. Red key, what do you open? Little teleporter room. Who knows what that just opened? Wherever it actually opened something. Now we're in here. Did it open something in here? Or just... Okay. I probably did something somewhere, I just don't know where. Now we'll go in here. Burn some goop with this thing in here. Oh, it's Lo Wang! No! Actually, I think I do have Shadow Warrior, if I'm not mistaken. I think I was supposed to play that at some point, I just got sidetracked. Thought it was like some weird alien. I'm just gonna toss and forget. Now an actual yellow key card. What'd you spawn out here this time? Where's this go? Just wait for the fire to die off from all the goop. Flammable goop. I don't like the size of this room. <laughs> he just like face shifted out of existence. Hold on. Yep, putting the spell up. Not gonna worry about it. No. Look at all this money. This is a big ass room. There's probably a bunch of secrets. Just knew it. Go around me, mash spacebar. You'll get it all. That one was a secret just because of how much larger the wall brick was compared to everyone else. Or everything else. They're not people. Now let's go through here. And to the workshop. Let's see what we have in here now. Do I have enough? No, I'm a little bit short. Freezing, I don't even use the staff, like, at all. There's still- oh, I forgot, flamethrower. Fire spreading fire lance. Ooh, into a lance that shoots a straight stream of fire. So we're missing, like, three whole weapons out of the game. I don't even use the crossbow. There's so much ammo, I'm not really hurting for it. See, the flamethrower is really nice. I'm actually gonna save up points. Toughness, increase. Health. Extra bullets, extra shells. Soul collector, no. Is there anything for... Can move through monster. I probably just want sprinter then. I think that is faster than earlier. That'll help us get through it a little bit quicker. Let's see. Close range fire spreading. I actually probably don't want that. Probably. I'm just gonna get this. Holy fuck, that chews through ammo. Oh my god. Ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Well, we are on to the great old one. Boss fight of this one. I guess say, uh, the sorcerer studied iron as well as Eldritch text. So, let's see what this guy's got about him. At least he's giving me a bunch of... The fuck? You gonna all oh, he big? That's a big boy. Why he's so big though? Do I just I 
I don't know if the fire lance is actually a good idea. Just going around blasting these tentacles, which the Eldritch or Lightning Blast Storm didn't really seem to do anything to. I just attacked these weird slug dudes and that was it. There's still probably a tentacle somewhere that I just can't see. Oh, there he is. He's tucked away in the corner right there. But then he fucked off the moment I showed up. Now is he gonna open? I just shoot at you now? I mean, you're big as fuck. I could just throw some dynamite at you. Oh. It's not, like, feeling responsive at all. Just don't stop moving. When actual enemies show up, just cast out lightning storm and leave it at that. Is this doing anything to you? It doesn't feel like it's doing really anything to him. He literally just spawned right in front of me out of thin air. That was it? Are you serious? That was like the most underwhelming. Okay. That's actually really disappointing. I'll say it right now, that was kind of... It's kind of fucking oof, bro. I was expecting a much better... He didn't really, like... Do anything, and it didn't feel like you were hitting him. He made no sounds... At all that he was getting hit, or... Anything. See, Storm Rage is working... Just fine. I don't need an upgrade to it. I don't have another level up. Well, thank you all for tuning into this one. In the next episode, we will be heading to Egypt. I hope you all have enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a good day.